A new report suggests questionable Chinese investments could be fueling corruption at Los Angeles City Hall. One America's Christian Rose has more details. New developments in the FBI's probe into corruption at Los Angeles City Hall, as the LA Times reported Monday, connecting the city's high-ranking Democrats to China's alleged malicious investment practices. According to the FBI's search warrant, the Bureau is interested in the permits and licenses related to several development projects in downtown LA. The probe involves 13 top Democrats at LA City Hall, including Councilman Jose Huiza and Corin Price, as well as former Deputy Mayor Ray Chan and an aide to Council President Herb Wesson. The FBI simultaneously is executing additional warrants in the LA area. The FBI's search warrant names three foreign investors, including executives at Chinese companies, as supposedly paying bribes to LA's ruling Democrats. The LA Times pointed to several specific projects in DTLA. Among these are the LA Grand Hotel, Metropolis, Lux City Center Hotel and Ocean White Plaza, all prime pieces of real estate that pose significant interest to any property developer in the wake of ongoing real estate boom. And the speculation is rife, top LA Democrats were allegedly selling contracts and LA's historic legacy to China. You know, a few years ago, you could turn off the light switch in downtown LA and there was nobody here. Uh, people who came here to work would leave in the evening and it was, uh, it was a ghost town and now it's alive. According to the LA Times, FBI sources confirmed several projects in Councilman Huizar's district, that includes portions of DTLA, are part of the corruption inquiry. The FBI has requested that developers disclose all their contributions to Huiza and other city council members, including meals, trips, gifts, flights and vacations. This comes after it was reported Huiza's wife ran fundraising for the Bishop Morris Allegiant High School, which could serve as a laundromat for Chinese money. The first thing we did was to ask the voters to support us in passing $1.2 billion in bonds to receive uh, funds to build 10,000 units of permanent housing over 10 years. That's the long-term plan. Meanwhile, the majority of Angelinos have long been concerned with the lack of transparency in their city's real estate development. After decades of Democrat rule, excessive regulation and zoning have made it hard to build in Los Angeles. But some speculate connections at City Hall could facilitate the process. For his part, President Trump has repeatedly warned Chinese investments could pose threats to national security, and corruption is one of such threats. I believe that uh, China represents the foremost national security and economic challenge to our country of any other country in the world. Not Russia? In the long term. Not Russia? In the long term. Well, I think not enough focus has been put on China. And that's been for a long time. Experts believe the FBI's probe could result in reforms of property development in LA and restrictions to campaign contributions at City Hall. But some say the probe could also disrupt Democrat political influence in the City of Angels. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.